Hi folks and welcome to 2022 and another fly tying tutorial. So I'm going to kick this year's off with a small variation on the ever popular dial back. So without further ado, let's get into it. The hook in the vice then is a Hanak H200 barbless hook. This one's at size 10, it's on a heavy wire and it's in black nickel. Now this fly can be tied down to around size 14 and it's just as effective. The thread I'm going to be using today is from Simplify and it's black waxed silk at 12 o. First thing I want to do is add a little bit more wax to the thread and I'm going to catch it just in behind the eye. And while I'm getting my layer of thread down, I hope you all had a fantastic new year and you're looking forward to a great 2022 season. Now I'm going to stop approximately where a barb would be on a barbed hook and then remove my waist. Now in open turns, I'm going to bring my thread back up to the top of the fly. And then I'm going to use some Simplify mirror tinsel. As you can see it's red here, I've already got a little piece off and I'm going to catch that in the entire length of the body just at the start here. This just helps with keeping a nice even body. I'm going to take that all the way down and I'm going to bring it as far just as the hook starts to bend away there. I'm going to bring my thread back up approximately five millimeters. I want a nice big tag on this. And then I'm going to use overlapping turns. Make sure I've not got any of that black thread showing through. And just bear with me. I've still not reached 10,000 subscribers, so the rod and reel still up for grabs. If anyone wants to subscribe at this late stage and hopefully I'll be there very soon. So I'm just going to secure my tag in and then once I've done that I'm going to get a couple of turns just in front. Now it always pays to put a couple of turns in front of the material you're tying in. It just stops your thread kicking back and causing you just to have a little squiggle of red mirror flash and you've got to start again and uh, we don't want to do that at this stage. So for the tail, all I'm using, I've got a cock hackle here, it's a grizzle cape actually, and I've, uh, it's been dyed black. I'm going to take a generous pinch from here, pull it off the stock at a 90 degree angle, which will align my tips more or less, and I want it to be about twice the length of the tag. So that looks okay. And then I can come all the way back. Now I'm just putting a little bit of pressure on the tail. Just covered up too much of my tag there. Just to make sure it sits on the top of the shank. Now I'm going to come down till I'm about two or three millimetres before the eye of the hook. And then I'm just going to remove my waist. Excuse my fingers. Next I'm going to tie in my rib and I'm using some light gold wire, it's a 0.2mm light gold and I've got a piece off that I've been working with. Now I'm going to catch this in on my side the entire length of the hook shank and again this just helps with keeping your body shape right. Okay, so traditionally the dial back would be tied with peacock herald and uh, I'm going to change it up a little bit and use some of the Micro Fritz gel core body from Simplify. It's a, it's a little Micro Fritz and it's so thin that it will do as a body for a dial back. It's a bit more robust than uh, peacock herald so you don't have to take as much care when you're tying it on and it gives 
a not dissimilar effect. Now, is it as good as Peacock Herald? Well, at the risk of being banned from Wales for life, I'll say no. Uh, I think Peacock Herald, you've got that natural material going on. Uh, if you disagree, let me know in the comment section. But uh, I don't think there's much beats natural materials. So I've just brought that up to the eye of the hook and I'm going to get a couple of turns in front, as I just mentioned there. Don't want my material springing back on me. And then what I'm looking for here is a round, on a size 10, I'm looking for around four turns. I want them nice and evenly spaced. And on the fourth turn, I'll be able to bring it to the eye of the hook and then catch that in. Now you've got to leave a little bit more space than you would think at the front of this fly because the, the rib I'm using is quite thick and what you don't want to do is not leave yourself enough room to finish it off. Tay's just splaying out a little more than I'd like. So, I'm going to put the throat hackle in next and to do that I'm going to invert my vise. If you've got this facility it makes it much easier. So again I'm going to come back to my cock hackle and I'm going to pick similar to what I had for the tail and pull that away. I can then dress it up and I don't want it to come past the bend of the hook. Just towards the end of the tag the ideal. Excuse my fingers while I get this into place. And I'm going to get two or three turns to pin it down. And then I'm going to take my waist here and just get two or three turns in front of my waist. Now, I'm carefully going to come in with some fine tipped scissors and just remove my waist. Now at this point I can bring my vice back round to situation normal. I'm going to use my thumb and forefinger in my left hand to pull back any straggly bits and then I can start to build a nice head. Now the beauty of the uh, using the 12-0 rather than the 6 alt thread is you can get a much neater head And I like that on this fly. Some flies require you to have much bigger heads that, you know, if you're putting a hot spot head like red or orange, then you would need a much bigger head. But for this one, I just want that nice, neat fly. So next then, I'm going to get my whip finish tool and give it three turns to finish off. Now, as always, uh, you can use what you wish to finish your flies, uh, varnish, super glue, it really is up to you. But I like to use the UV resin. Uh, I'm sure if you've followed my videos in the past, you'll know that I use the Solaris Bone Dry and I find it extremely effective. It's a, it's a good resin that actually does what it says on the tin and cures bone dry. And I also love this little brush to uh, apply it. And that's one of the things I think other manufacturers are really missing out on. You know, I'm sure there's plenty with excellent resins, but they don't have that little applicator brush, which is what makes the Solaris, for me anyway, stand out. So this little dial back, it would be great fished in a team of flies. Great washing line fly. Uh, fished above a booby, uh, maybe a couple of these and an attractor fly on the top dropper and I'm sure that will catch you plenty of fish and hopefully I won't get any Welsh people running up to me in the street and smashing me in the face. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching the video and if you're getting value as always please consider subscribing and I'll see you all next time.